Today I'm going to be releasing the first official FPV Magic Board. Now you'll be like, what the hell is the FPV Magic Board? Well, it's a board that's 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters, so it's um, this small right here. And for reference, here's a 20 by 20 flight controller rocking the tiny F7 microcontroller unit, the small micro F7, and it's as big as the F7 microcontroller unit. Now you'll be like, okay, what the hell is the point of this board? What does this board do? This board does three things, believe it or not. It'll have dual camera switching capabilities. It has turning on and off your video transmitter all the way up to 8S voltage, which is really nice. And also has filtration, basically it has a big fat capacitor on the other side. So it has three functions and it's super tiny, super light and can be fit into basically anything. And for example, you just wanted dual cameras without the option to turn on and off your VTX, you don't have to connect it. If you wanted just to turning on and off your VTX, you could just connect that part, which is gonna be pretty cool. Now I'll go into detail here just to explain to you how everything is working in really basic, simple terms to help you understand what's really going on here because I really want you to kind of understand what's going on behind the scenes or inside this board right here. And again, these files are currently open to my Patreons. All the files right here, they click a link and they can modify it to as they please change the size, remove the VTX part, remove the camera part. They can do whatever they want here. And now I'm going to explain to you how everything is actually working. So let's take a look at this. So for reference, this is the board right here. And don't forget, it's super tiny, 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters. This is the top side and on the back side, here we have a really big fat capacitor now and again I'll be releasing more uh, boards like this but bigger size later on and the bigger it is the more capacitors I'll be able to put on and it'll just give you more filtration you don't I didn't have to add this but it's really nice to have you know every little bit of filtration for noise really does go a long way so that's the whole idea here and it has just a lot of dead space back there so why not just take advantage of it so right here what we have is we have one IC and two IC which will make sense of in a bit this one with the three pads here, or the three legs, let's call them legs. This one with the three legs is the one in charge of turning on and off your VTX. So basically here you tell it, oh, turn on the VTX. And then what it'll do is it'll connect these two together right here. So this is, for example, this is the ground. And this is the ground that's connected to your uh, video transmitter. So once you tell it, oh, connect them together, it'll just basically bridge those two and then the ground gets connected to the video transmitter and then it boots up and I'm going to explain it into more detail which is going to make it even more simple and now we have this IC right here it has six legs two of which are power basically five volt in ground and or five volt in ground and then it has camera one input which is this right here and then camera two input which is this right here and this is the camera output. So this is where your camera will be outputted. And then it has this one right here. I called it CX because I don't have much space to write stuff on there. And what CX does here is it'll read the input and know which camera you have selected. And I'll explain that once I build it and we actually connect it to a flight controller, how to actually set that up. It's very simple and there's really nothing to it. And again, on the back, we have a capacitor. Now let's take a look at the schematic here. So let's start off with the transistor here. So this is the thing that'll actually uh, enable and disable the video transmitter here. So we saw it has three legs on the PCB, which again, these three legs right here. Now, if we look at the schematic, it's the same thing. We have one leg up here, one leg over here, and another leg over here. And this is V select. So this will be connected to one of the pads on your flight controller. And once it says on or off, then it'll know to connect the ground to the ground of the video transmitter because these will be disconnected and once you send the voltage here it'll connect these two together basically it's just like plug again the ground of your video transmitter and boom it just powers up now this is the uh camera switching board here so it has six legs we can see them one two three four five six now here we have camera one i called it c1 so camera one goes into pin one i don't know why the hell they called it no nc you know it kind of screws you up but when you look at the data sheet that's what it you know that's those are camera one and two basically so here we have camera one connected to pin one and just for reference here is uh pin one as you can tell it's connected down here actually this is even a little bit better here we go so this is camera one see c1 connected to that pin and then camera two, see C2 connected to that pin. And again, camera one and camera two pad, they're connected to these two right there. 
And if we bring that back up, so we know that camera one's connected here and camera two is connected here. Now this chip will also need ground, and this is where you just give it ground. And that's taken from the pads that's on the board, so very, it's all done for you, so you don't have to worry about that. And then here we have five volt, this chip also needs five volt, so the power. And then we're left with two legs here. We have pin six, which is in, and pin four, or leg four, which is com. Now com is going to be the video output, the camera output. And the in is going to be the one that selects which one is it going to be. Is it going to be camera one that's being outputted here? Or is it going to be camera two that's being outputted here? With this little thing right there. And where the in will be connected, which is uh, this one right here. I called it CX, which is like uh, camera select, you know, because I don't have much space here. And that will be connected to like a, one of the motor outputs, like an extra motor output, or it could be in the LED pin, or it could be the buzzer pin. Uh, I'll show you how to set that up later. And you connect that straight to your flight controller, and then you set it up on a switch, and it's, it's very simple, and I'll show you how to do that. And then it'll just tell you switch between camera one and camera two. Very easy. I mean, that, that's all it is, really. So what you need to connect on this board is your video signal for your camera one, video the yellow wire. And the video signal for the camera two ground for the whole board here five volt and then this would go to like let's just say motor five output from your quad cop from your flight controller and this would go to your camera input on your flight controller because basically this is the camera now and this decides which camera goes through very simple very straightforward now vcc here you'd want to give it battery voltage or maybe in the nine volt regulator whatever it is but not five volt on vcc uh because vcc here is going to give you some filtration you don't have to connect it but it's really nice if you do so you can connect vcc here and it'll give you a really nice 10 microfarad filtration going on for it and we have we're left with these two pads on the bottom here so what's going on here well, what you want to do is you want to grab your video transmitter now because this is the part where it'll enable and disable your video transmitter with a switch on your RC transmitter. Now, VGND is the VTX ground, which is the VT video transmitter's black wire, will be connected right here. The positive would still be connected. You can connect it to VCC here with it or you connect it to the flight controller's 9 volt. Now, what's going on when you connect your video transmitter's ground here it's not connected anywhere, so it won't boot. It's not bridged to the official ground of the whole system or to the battery. So this is where this chip comes in. And here we have another VX. So we would say this would be connected on motor six pad on your flight controller. And again, it could be used on any other pad. I'll show you that later on. And once you switch it, then this VGND will actually get connected to the ground and power up your VTX. Now, if you don't want to use this, you don't have to. If you don't want to use this section, you don't have to. If you don't want to use the filtration, you don't have to. You just don't have to connect it. So this was the whole idea of the board here. It's very simple and straightforward. Here's the transistor for the video video transmitter again. Uh, see, you can see that one leg was connected to official ground of the battery. And then here would be connected to motor six output, for example, on the flight controller. And this one would be the video transmitter's ground. Once you flick the switch here, then it'll connect the, the battery ground to the uh, video transmitter and then have it boot up. Really simple stuff. We're using an NPN transistor. Here's the capacitor that's on the back side. Uh, later, on, I'm gonna probably, uh, later on, I'll probably release bigger boards that will incorporate or be able just to add a bunch more capacitors on the back just to increase filtration because it's always really nice to have filtration on it. And... Um, yeah, that's currently it right now. Right now, I'm going to be sending it to PCBWay because they helped me uh, prototype. And this video is sponsored by PCBWay. Uh, the way that it's sponsored is that I create a design. They manufacture it for free. I test it so you don't have to. And then, yeah, we just have a product that's been tested and it really does help a lot. And a huge shout out to PCBWay. Definitely go check them out here. However, if you're going to be joining my Patreon this month, I do have a special giveaway to the new Patreons, which is the brand new HDLRC Parrot 120 Pro here. This will be going out to my new Patreons. Old Patreons have three giveaways, which is going to be one of the recently pre-built quadcopters and some flight controllers and stuff and ESCs like premium stuff for my normal Patreons and the new Patreons, you know, from now till the end of the month, uh, will have a chance to win this. So uh, you have a greater possibility of winning. Not only that, you get access to my secret shop, which you really want access to actually, because there's some crazy stuff in there for like super cheap. And also come buy a shirt, they're really awesome. And uh, I just finished designing this one. We're designing a new t-shirt. So check out my shop. Uh, I have really awesome custom made t-shirts that I'm making and well, 
That's it, guys. I'll see you in the next one where we receive the board and actually build this guy. So, peace out.